All right, so I did a little, a little bit of cleanup. Um, as you can see, the initial miners are uh, are gone, both from iron and copper. I still have this on on stone, but we'll we'll deal with that once we're once we're ready for some proper stone production. Uh, so yeah, the next phase is to start working on the on some on on the initial production side. Now, one thing before we do that, um, let's see. Uh, basically, to start setting up the bus and uh, the initial production, we need inserters. But more importantly, we need transport belt. So, uh, transport belt. The cool thing is that uh, we only need iron plate and iron gears. So we have this uh, make makeshift uh, pro gear production space. And what I'm thinking is we can do something like this. We have gears that are being made here. Let's pop, let's take a couple for ourselves and let's pop the gears here. And this will make transport belt, right? And for this, we need iron and uh, gears. We'll get gears from here and iron from, uh, yeah, from this one. So let's power it up. Let's put uh, an output chest. And let's put the leg there. So right now we have both gears and uh, generic belts, the, the yellow belt. So uh, I, uh, we can leave this open. That's fine. We're going to need a lot of, a lot of belts. And this is just makeshift because um, sooner rather than later, the the smelting column will be up to here. Yeah, I think I I um, calculated it correctly. This is for iron, and this is the same with uh, with the copper. All right, so basically we're going to start probably the bus. I don't know. We're going to leave some room. We could start the bus right here. But let's just leave a bit of room and you know, let's go past, past these cliffs. And I think we can, we can pretty much start from, from over here. Okay, now uh, let's plan this out. So first things first, where will we have the main bus? Well, since iron will be right here up until this point, and copper will be above. Mm, I think we can start probably around here. This should be fine. So we're going to keep a, a very simple bus uh, with the idea of having four belts of each. And I think it doesn't really matter where we where we have it. It'll be fine. Now the thing is, if because we we did we did the iron right here. We're going to have um, the the topmost part of the the bus is going to be copper, which usually what you you'll see and what I usually do is have iron, then a couple of uh, let's put three spaces, and four lanes of um, of copper plates. But we can, but nothing says it has to be this way. So we can do copper, then uh, you can leave two spaces, but I'll, I'll try this time with uh, three spaces. So we'll have four lines of copper, four lines of iron, which I think it's more than we need, but you know, it's going, the, the production basically is going to um, start all at once and we'll probably need a lot more resources from time to time so it's good to have saturation on uh, on four belts rather than the i don't know maybe the two we're missing the next bit is uh four lanes and i'm thinking here we can have so at least two belts of gears and probably two belts of uh, steel that might be a, li a little bit more than we need but i think it'll be okay and then these are like the basic stuff that you make from um, 
from copper and iron. And then we'll leave three spaces and we'll have the two belts, the starting two, two belts, which are, and probably three, which will be uh, green circuits. Now we can already make green circuits. We just require iron plates and copper cables on the ratio of two uh, of one and three. So this will be basically let's let's mark it so this is not from the beginning. This will be the place where we make the the green circuits. Now let's just start out. I mean, green circuits is uh, the uh, the first big thing that we'll need. So we'll just use the uh, we'll just use assembly machine ones, and then we'll move on to assembly machines two uh, very quickly. So this is our bus. Let's say we start basically from from here. So we have a, a little bit of space. So basically we're going to be doing this on two sides and this will be one belt of green circuits. Let's just mark these so we don't forget. Uh, remember shift and right click is copying um, a settings from the assembly machine gun left clicking is um, putting it back. So shift right click and shift left click on all of them. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see how we will do this. We're going to need some long, long handed inserters. So we're going to start making them. And let's get some some belt as well. <laughs> it's so good that uh, we have this belt production. Actually, let's put it. Um, let's limit it to this much. Okay. So, green circuits production. Okay. Now, uh, for green circuits, also known as electronic circuits. We need iron plate and copper cables. And for copper cables, we need copper plates. And the ratio for uh, for making these is um, 1.5, I think. So basically for every uh, one assembly machine of making uh, electronic, uh, making green circuits, you need one and a half assembly machines making copper cables, right? That's kind of weird and it would be a bit of a waste to have two assembly machines making copper cables for um, for each one. So a good way to do it is to have three copper cables dumping all the resources into uh, green circuit assembly machines. So that means that we can have something like this. So it's three machines dumping into two, uh, two of these. Now let's just uh, make the same thing on the other side. Copy and paste. And we'll have this, these two, and this one right here. And we'll mess about with uh, with the the spacing. So these outside lanes will be copper, and these inside lanes that are going upwards will be iron plates, and the the middle one will be. Uh, the green circuits. So we're going to use a long handed inserter on each machine, each assembly machine, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll make it like this. So let's expand all of these to here. Let's put on some power poles. Now for power poles, uh, the spacing is a bit off, so we'll just have a little bit of a wonky setup having the poles right here. But the good news is that 
once we have this, we basically can use control copy and create a blueprint. And we can just paste it above, above, and so on. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, basically, some quick uh, back of the, the napkin maths. I think with uh, assembly machine threes and uh, red belts, we need 12 of them, 12 uh, green circuit assemblers to fully saturate the, a belt. So we have 12 now. We'll leave it like this and uh, we can we can upgrade uh, upgrade this and make it longer as as and when we need to. Now, uh, we can already start planning the the input and let's just see that okay so this will be uh the copper bit and we're going to and this is the other bit and let's just say we're going to use it right here and Let's put this a bit longer. Let's do it like this. I think that looks better. And we don't have to mess about with uh, balancing. And one thing we'll do is we'll put the output, output priority to the left. So that way, basically, this whole belt, if it's needed, will go up here. And the second belt will go up here, and everything else will be will be uh, basically sorted. Now I'm pretty sure that for uh, for the iron, we uh, can do with only one belt. So let's just put it somewhere around here. This will be the iron belt. This will go up. And like so, and then we'll have a little wonkiness like like so. There are other ways to do this, but I uh, I think this is pretty easy and uh, and it works decently well. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll go right here. And remember, we said this will be basically the, the green circuit line. So we can start the two belts of green circuits like so. So this will be the start of the green circuits. Uh, in the future, we might need a new uh, a second line. So we'll put something uh, something right here, maybe like so. And let's leave the, the blueprint. So we'll have enough space for, um, for a second column of green circuits. But right now, I think it looks pretty good. And I think it's enough to, to, start, to, start, to start the, the production. Now, one, thing, one other thing I want is to leave some space, like four tiles maybe. Uh, so we can have a pathway, a walkway. So basically it's um, when we have concrete and, uh, and everything else, we'll put a four wide path here. So we can, we can have a little bit of extra speed. So let's, uh, actually, no, let's put it uh, a bit further up. a little bit one more up yeah i think this will be fine okay let's clear out these let's put the output for greens and the same thing with uh, the second copper belt and this will be output towards the the left Okay, a little bit of admin, but it's fine. And right now, let's connect these. 
So basically what we'll do is we'll we'll go like here and let's go in here and let's connect this. Basically this will be um, this bottom one will be right here, but uh, right now I think it's it's fine to leave it like this. We'll put a belt balancer because we have we want these uh, plates to go in both uh, both sides of the green circuit manufacturing. So uh, we'll leave it like that, and this will be the iron. And I think, yeah, this is the the place. Okay, so we're we're basically we're cooking right now. All right, we have green circuit production. As you can see, um, I started with just one belt, but I think we're going to start uh, expanding it to two belts, even though this is overkill. But it's better to have uh, have it set up. Now, uh, I cleared some trees, and um, I was thinking. Uh, by the way, these uh, transport, these extra transport transport belts that we have um, in this makeshift place came real came in handy really nicely. Uh, because uh, <laughs> yeah, we use like a couple of, a couple of thousand, I think, like one and a half thousand or two thousand, just expanding this initial part of the <laughs> of the bus. You really you use a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of belt. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, we have the blueprint for uh, the green circuit, the next uh, layer of green circuit expansion. Right now, we don't need it. This is around the place where we'll have uh, the second column once we need it, and we're probably going to need it. Now, uh, I started cutting some trees, but it takes a bit, and we'll just clear out this this part with um, once we have the bots. This is the place where we'll have um, the belt. Now, one thing which I usually do is uh, I, I, I start with... Um, uh, hang on, let me let me let me show you because this is this might be relevant. Let's put the whole the whole setup. It's basically like a three by three matrix. So what we have, what I usually have is um, in three layers. So um, yellow, red, and blue belt. Right, and the idea is you start making um, the normal yellow belt. Then you need the yellow belt for underground and splitters. It's a matter of where you put, if you put the underground belt on the left or on the right hand side, it doesn't really matter. But if <laughs> if you if you're being a little bit a little bit too pedantic, it kind of uh, the only issue is at least initially is where the electronic circuit comes in. But that's fine. So anyway, <laughs> sorry for going on a tangent. Basically, what I do is I start with uh, the first layer with yellow belt and then red and then blue belt. But I really I'm a huge fan of blue belt. And even though it's not really cost effective, I generally once we have all the all the basic resources required. So like um, oil processing and everything, I tend to upgrade to um, to blue belt quite quickly. And usually it's at the tops. So for this playthrough, I'm actually thinking of putting the yellow belt on top. So and once we once we get to blue tech technology uh, to blue belt technology and we start to use them, basically those will be right here and this will be I think the the general area of the path. So the belts will be very quickly accessible from uh, from everywhere.
Okay, so let's go through everything. So we expanded uh, the bus all the way here. Now, the first, um, the yellow types of belts use uh, iron plates. And I don't think the other ones use, I think I checked. Yeah, so the, the red belts only use uh, gears and electronic circuits and green circuits. So, um, yeah, basically we only need iron for the stop part. So I, I brought the iron um, on, on the side. And this is the place where we'll have the, um, the gears. So this is the gear line. Something uh, will probably end up... Um, having another gear line maybe right here and splitting off because especially the blue belts they eat up a lot of gears let's see like only the the red underground belts use 40 gears as you can see right here and the blue ones are even even worse i mean the amount of gears yeah 80 gears and to uh, underground belts for the the blue ones and 10 and uh, 10 gears for the splitters and the uh, and the uh, regular transport belts respectively so we're definitely going to be needing um a, a second line of gears but that that's fine now this is basically the the first bit of the mall and it's quite important so the last thing i think we'll do this episode let's uh let's extend this uh, steel line a bit as we make our way back towards the the starting area now one of the things we definitely will need are gears all right i did some uh, some quick thinking basically this is how the the smelting columns will look and we have space for uh, a fifth one right here so what i'm thinking is we can basically have these four one two three and the existing one would be the fourth fourth one for iron and we'll pick it back off of probably one of these uh, to make steel as well so we can make this um this smelting column to be basically um the gear smelting column right so let's just um let's just uh make a little rough sketch of everything this is basically just uh an iron smelting column but the output won't be on the bus would but instead will be for gears so uh, I, anyway you've seen me do this a couple of times so uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna cut and uh i'll get back to you when everything is done need resources <laughs> we need so many resources <laughs> all right so um yeah, we got the, the smelting column set up. Let's put the assembly machines here. And this is where it will end up. Now, what I'm thinking, since we're planning on, ha planning on having two uh, lines of gears, we'll just use this, um, this common iron belt and we'll just have something like this so this will be the iron belt that's going in and we'll have input and output and the same we'll just start with um with a few and there is really there is room to to expand so i'm not too too worried about this so here we'll make uh we'll make gears copy and paste and we have room to to expand a tiny little bit if we we need to and uh, let's be honest we'll probably need to now we just need to hook everything up to this place and we have some extra so we'll see how how this goes and we can we can tap into our um to our reserves right here not actually let's 
even uh, stop these uh, these right here and we'll start them when we need to all right so we're making uh making gears this is absolutely perfect all right so uh i think we can start wrapping up this um this episode because we did quite quite a few things i mean i'm i'm happy about about how it went let's uh one thing i wanted to do is just mix up the put a belt balancer just to mix up the the sides of the belt that are being used and basically very soon we'll have uh, we'll have the gears come in which will make the basic transport belt which will in turn start uh, producing the the splitters now um yeah we have just one line of um, of splitters and underground belts we'll probably at some point go to two lines but we're, we're going to need a lot of belts so um this will probably stay as is all right so we're starting to make transport belts we'll i think in the next episode we'll clean up the the um, the pr provisional transport uh, belt manufacturing thing this will be just the just the belts place and right here we can start working on on the mall i'm thinking we can start making assembly machines probably miners electric poles you know stuff like that the the, the basic uh stone furnaces maybe even um, maybe even concrete so we can move a little bit faster uh, i hope you enjoyed this episode if you have any feedback about the game or anything please uh leave uh leave a comment i'll and i'll definitely read it and maybe you know incorporate it in the in the next few episodes since we don't have a lot of infrastructure built yet it's really easy to make some some changes or even obviously um, make a suggestion on what to prioritize uh, building next episode so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye